So could you introduce yourself and tell us what language you speak? Okay. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Celia. Um, I'm a sophomore and I speak Uzbek. Um, my name is Austin. I'm a sophomore and I speak Mandarin and English. I'm Raina Lee. I speak English, Korean, and Spanish for Spanish. <laughs> my name is Luke McIntyre and I speak English and Spanish for Spanish. <laughs> What does your language mean to you? I think um, the languages that I speak represent kind of the generational differences between my parents and I. So like um, my limited my limited Korean versus their kind of limited English. It kind of shows sometimes like the cultural barriers we have between us um, because I definitely think there's a difference between being Korean and being Korean American. And I don't think that I am half American or half Korean. I think I'm full Korean and full American. But sometimes my ability to speak those languages don't actually show that. Well, when I, when I started choosing between a language in high school, I, was, I, lived, I lived in New Orleans. I grew up in New Orleans. And I was hearing Spanish on the streets of my city and not French. So that's why I chose Spanish, because I wanted to be able to talk to eat to somebody else about their culture because I figure I could learn a lot more by a face-to-face -face conversation. I don't really approach it any differently than when I speak English, so... Wow, our would lives you, are so different. Lucas, would you maybe say that because you were uh, taught Spanish through a more academic setting and not necessarily from a home or family though? perspective? Uh, yeah, I'd say because when you're taught by, from your home and family, you associate it with more than just the language. You associate it with all the mores and culture that your family adheres to. When you're taught in an academic setting, you're like, yo soy means I am, and that's all you really need to know to grasp the language. Being bilingual allows someone to maintain their connection to their heritage and culture while creating a new way of communication. Learning a new language can also decrease the family ties that are rooted in an individual's native language. Native languages are associated with the concepts home and family and help provide a link to someone's culture. Having a private language that's associated with home helps provide individuals with a sense of security and comfort. Do you feel like you express yourself when you use a different language differently? Like, do you feel like you can express one part of your personality Yeah, more? yeah. I feel like, depending on the language that I'm speaking, I feel like I could be, like, not different person, but, like, different tone. So, like, in French, like, I speaking is more, like, calm and reserved, and I can express myself differently than speaking in English or Norwegian, because, like, some stuff some stuff to like express yourself doesn't translate or there's like no like word for it in English so sometimes um, if I say something in Norwegian there's no way to like say it in English and I can't express but then sometimes I learn new stuff in English that I that can't be expressed in like Norwegian or French or so to me Spanish is like a completely different way to express myself I mean there are there are things that you know you can say in English but there are some things that you know you just have to say in Spanish I mean you know they just don't translate well or it just sounds better in Spanish and that's kind of part of the reason why I love it so much I think English is the prime like medium that I use to communicate um, I think it's interesting thinking about how we use language in our lives, like something that I do um, as part of my therapy is journaling and obviously that's in English. <laughs> um, but it's interesting to see like how words can be comforting. Um, and it's also interesting to see like what words exist in which languages. So like some things that I just can't convey in English but I can in Korean or learning about different grammatical structures in Spanish versus English versus Korean. Um, so I don't know if that answered the question. I feel like with what you said about like what being able to express something in one language instead of another, it almost tells you like what's considered like a deep-rooted belief for the people that speak that language. Yeah. In the past, I always taught at schools that had uh, a lot of Spanish-speaking um, students from Central America, and that tends to be sort of a more vibrant culture. They tend to be a little louder, get out of their seats more, shout out the answer more. And this school has a lot of Asian students who are very polite and put their heads down and are very quiet and do whatever you say. A member of our research group, Chio Chog, 
conducted an experiment that determined how significant language is. Students were asked to participate in charades to express simple words to other students. And it was found that language is absolutely essential for conveying complex ideas. Without language, humans would only be able to communicate simple ideas, but language allows us to think and convey more nuanced concepts. Linguistic influence is the idea that emphasizes the impact of words on our thinking. Basically, people think differently in different languages. When we have an increased vocab for the word yellow, for example, we are able to classify or remember different shades of yellow in a much more efficient way. We have better recall and can perceive different variations of yellow in the world around us. Do you like being bilingual and is it an important part of your sense of self? Um, I love being bilingual. It's really fun to be able to practice my Korean um, and talk about people in front of them without them knowing. In a way, it, it really helps my personality. Like it defines who I am in certain situations based on what language I'm speaking. Cultural, it's sort of the norm for me. Like that's what people are going to expect me to speak. It's not like anything that's ever mattered. Like I speak English, it's gotten me through everything I've ever needed to get through. Language plays a key role in shaping who we become and how we express ourselves. Studies have shown that bilingual or multilingual individuals can reveal different personalities when speaking different languages. It has also been shown that individuals who speak in their second language speak with more head than heart compared to their first language. And do you feel like at Green Hope, you're accepted. Oh yeah, yes, of course. There are so, so many um, ESL students here, mm -hmm. and I don't take the ESL class because I, I learned English way earlier. But um, I feel like the environment is really easy to like get along with other people, even if there is like a language barrier. Like they don't speak English, or they are like s there's a language barrier. It still feels really easy to like get along with people and feel like. Feel, feel good here. I, I get a lot of like people just call me Mexican and all that stuff because <laughs> you speak Spanish. But you know, yeah. there's like like ten countries that speak Spanish. Yeah, like they don't understand. Yeah, they yeah. don't understand yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So they just call you Mexican and all that stuff. I like eat me when just because you speak, you don't speak English. So you guys will will say that you guys got a little maybe discriminated, right yeah. at school. Mm -hmm. But um, does that matter to you guys? No. In the beginning. Yeah. In the, in the yeah, beginning. Like, yeah. When, we don't like when, when, when you don't know like English. nothing at nothing. all. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like just a little bit. Now when people the... talk and try to Now we can just know. talk to yeah. them. Like, yeah. yeah. Now we can start doors. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's cool. So now so now you guys don't care, right? Yeah, not yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Not care anymore. I'm Mrs. Johnson and I have the best job at Green Hope High School. I'm an ESL teacher. How do you think the diversity of cultures and languages at Green Hope affect both your job and the people who go to this school? I think it's a tremendous opportunity for all of us. This is definitely the most diverse school I've ever worked at. And uh, I love seeing students from different groups meet each other and get along. And some of my closest relationships last summer were between my Pakistani students and my Indian students who are always portrayed in the news as being enemies, and yet in our school, they're often friends. Uh, I see you know, different language groups within India, for example, that maybe in their own country wouldn't be friends, but here they are. Um, Spanish speakers from different parts of the world, um, people from Spain, um, getting to know people from Central America. And the ultimate challenge is getting people from the ESL community to kind of interact with people such as yourselves who probably uh, haven't been abroad. Have you been abroad? I've been to Korea you a couple times. You did to Korea a couple <laughs> times, so you know a little bit. Yeah. So would you say that because of our diverse schools, sort of those stigmas or those stereotypes between people have sort of been broken down? Um, to a large extent. I mean, there's still a little bit, of course. Um, you know, people here, this, our students are between the ages of, you know, 13 and 21. Um, 
they haven't yet had the opportunity to meet everyone in the world and travel a lot and understand all different cultures. Uh, but what I see happening here a lot is that our students are educating each other. They're not afraid to say, gee, why are you doing that? Why don't you eat meat for lunch, for example? Or, you know, and then they feel more comfortable talking about themselves than in other schools that I've seen. Udinen Green Hope. Awesome, it's Green Hope. Somos Green Hope. Nós Green Hope. Green Hope. Eu sou Green Hope. Nós Green Hope. Green Hope. Manam Green Hope. Kita Green Hope. 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 We are Green Hope.